Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Mike and this is Tech404. So today we're checking out the Feiyutech SPG gimbal and we're going to see if this thing is worth this relatively small price tag. So here it is, the Feiyutech SPGC, one of the most affordable gimbals that you can actually buy currently on the market costing around 100 to 130 US dollars this is really an affordable mass market option even with how good cameras are on the Note 8, the iPhone 10 and the Pixel, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat, if you post a lot of photos and videos then a gimbal is definitely a worthwhile investment so in terms of unboxing experience, we get this nice little white box. Inside it, you find the actual uh, instruction manual for the SBG gimbal. Now, let me have a look. The diagrams look pretty good and the uh, writing isn't too bad. So there is some sentences that doesn't make sense, but you get the gist of it and it will explain the various different modes. We get the actual uh, carry case, which is quite nice. Big packet of silicon, you know, moisture and all that. Inside the black box we get the battery and a micro USB charging cable to actually charge your gimbal. So we'll put that back, I've got the battery already out. This uh, carry case is quite nice, it's waterproof and if you open it up you'll find that there is the gimbal. The gimbal looks really nice, wow, it's actually quite heavy. When I say heavy I don't mean overly heavy but just it's got some weight to it so it's a good sign of quality. Feiyutech SPG uses a ICR battery, which basically has a circuit. It's rated at 3,000 milliamps, and they say it's good for up to eight hours. Now, that will somewhat depend on the size of your smartphone that you will be using. Um, let's put it flat side in, and then we can actually just screw it on. The whole device is made out of a single piece of machined aluminium, and it looks really, really nice. It's got a nice thick rubber texture as well, so it's great to grip. Located on the left side of the joystick control, you'll see a rubber tab. Pulling that apart will expose the micro USB charging port. Now the gimbal does come with a micro USB cable, but it doesn't come with a wall charger. So I use my wall charger to charge the device, and it actually charged it within about an hour and 45 minutes. Now this gimbal is quite good because it can accommodate the largest of smartphones, like this Galaxy Note 8, and your iPhone 10, and any other large smartphones that you might want to use with the gimbal. Um, one thing you will have to bear in mind is due to the size of these large phones you will have to remove the case to get it to fit inside the gimbal so the SBG has three modes now the first mode is the panning mode so tilting and rolling directions are fixed and the mobile lens will actually move according to your hand panning and tilting mode the rolling direction in this case is fixed and the mobile phone or the lens will move according to whichever direction your hand is in lock mode the orientation of the phone is fixed and it will not move so it will not rotate and it will not pan it will just stay fixed in one direction utilize the app you're going to have to download and install the SBG app this information can be actually found on the actual instruction manual via a QR code once the app is actually downloaded and installed you can select which model of device that you have click on it and it will connect automatically via Bluetooth to that device now once connected to the app you can actually change the speed of the scroll or the pan and the tilt all through the actual uh, Feiyutech app. One of the best things about it is the actual uh, face detection and the face tracking. It really does that quite well until your subject starts running then maybe it loses tracking a little bit. You can also apply various amounts of colour filters all of which you can actually do through the uh, Galaxy Note 8 anyway. But the actual ability to actually change the pan and the tilt and the speed that is actually really useful. So to give you guys an idea and a bit of context to how smooth this thing pans, here you go, here's a test clip, busy environment, lots of people walking around, forgot to lock the exposure, idiot. But you can see I've got this ramped up by 15% extra speed through the actual panning and it's buttery smooth, no issues. So another cool feature of the SPGC is if you rotate it or angle it at a 30 degree angle and double tap on the center button, it will automatically switch you onto portrait mode, which is, let's face it, everybody's uploading to Instagram stories Facebook live it's absolutely perfect so it makes that really easy so you can do that with your left hand or your right hand it doesn't have to have any orientation 30 degrees either side and then to return it again put it back into that 30 degree and double tap on that button I think there you go and it returns it back to normal pretty cool 
On the base of the gimbal you can see the large outer thread. Now you can actually buy an optional extra piece to add as an extension pole so you can get some cool overhead crane looking shots. In the center you've got a quarter inch thread so you can attach it to a tripod and then control the gimbal in like a live streaming situation using this smartphone app. All very cool stuff, all very functional and it does actually work. Now if I could complain about one thing and genuinely this is just down to personal preference and my own experience is I found while using the joystick controller I felt that the joystick controller was a little bit flush to the central portion of the gimbal. I wish there was a bit more of a spacing in between the actual joystick controller and the rod arm of the gimbal. I just prefer it to have a little bit more of a gamepad joystick kind of vibe. Easier for me to travel. I found myself every now and again just slipping off the controller not traveling to exactly where I wanted to go. So there you have it guys, the Feiyutech SPG-C. Now if you've got a smartphone and you're looking to extend its capabilities, then adding this to your tech travel bag will definitely achieve that. In terms of build quality, it's absolutely fantastically robust, great battery life and good amount of features. Easy to use straight out of the box for novice users and experienced users. Plenty of features going on. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll link in the video description. There'll be an offer code also attached. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.